Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So today I want to go back two decades ago and play the best expansion pack for The Sims 1, except maybe for Superstar. I loved this expansion pack when it came out and even though I play it on my live stream sometimes now, I still don't really feel like I get it. Like there's a lot of things that I feel like I've just never explored. So today I just want to play around with it for a little while. I think my main aim should be that I get a house in Magic Town by the end of the playthrough. Obviously I'll explore as much as I can while I'm playing, but I do think I'd have to make it a series if I want to cover everything. But who knows, maybe I will. But let's jump into it. Okay, let's make our sim. Last name, Kadivi. First name is Avidi. Avidi Kadivi. Here you go, Avidi. What a lovely house you've got. And we've still got the fireplace from the last time I was in here when I tried to kill a bunch of sims. Okay, I've just given her the basics of what she needs. We've got a telescope because we are going to need logic. But this is our man for now. Give me that shit. Oh, hang on. Sorry, just going to take a phone call real quick. And then I'll become a witch. Got my love's nut. The end is near. Make preparations. Brilliant. Yes, just what you want to hear when you've moved into a new house. Let's open this up. So this starter kit is a complimentary gift from the friendly folks at Magico Inc. who invite you to try their line of magical products for the home. This box includes everything you need to make your first spell. For more information on products and ingredients, consult your spellbook and home catalogue or visit your new neighbours at Magic Town. I will. <laughs> Give me a fucking second, man. Let's grab all that. Thank you. Let's go make our first spell. Did it work? It did work. We've got tonification. I mean, I'd use it, but I don't know anyone. I'm going to build our logic skill for now because we're going to need it soon so that we can get magic coins. Is it magic coins or magic coins? I'll be honest. I don't need your condescending whistling right now. So if you could pack that in. It's magic coins. Okay. Fine. I'll greet you, but only because I want to cast this spell. Mortimer, actually. I'll greet you. Hello. Do you want to be a toad? <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, Bella does not give a fuck. She's out of here. Oh, she would be if there wasn't a cat that she apparently can't walk past. Oh, Mortimer is pissed. He's trying to tease you. I'm too busy. Oh, you're about to destroy my toilet as punishment, aren't you? Oh, I was joking, but you really are. Oh, at least the Vardy finds it funny, I guess. You didn't even flush, you mucky fuck. That fucking shit stinks. Okay, I got to logic five. I did cheat at deeds, but that's fine. Let's jump in the hole. I know that I can definitely make money here at least. And I can ride on a roller coaster. But most importantly, Bone Hilda, how are you doing, gal? I love you. Let's go and put on a show. You better not fucking get on there before me. Oh! Well, that was absolute shite. Let me show you how to do it. It's fine. Everything was fine. So I'm just going to keep doing a load of these and get some cash. There's two more things I want to do before I leave this place, at least. Okay, I've got 185 magic coins now. That'll do for a while. Just need a quick piss and then we're good to keep going. So, first of all, give me a dragon. Might as well have a proper magic pet if we're doing this. And since we're here, we might as well have a quick go on the roller coaster. We're getting pretty bored, so it just makes sense. I just love that it's absolute torture. <laughs> it's like it can't be fun for them at all. There you go. You did have fun. What are you on about? Why were you crying all the way around there? You shut up! I'm so fucking scared right now! You shut up! I'm just going to buy some random ingredients. This might stop me from actually getting a house by the end of this video. But at least we can explore some of the spells. Okay, I've got three magic coins left, but I've got a shitload of ingredients that I don't know how to use. So that's always good. Let's go home. I have a dragon to look after. And then we're going to head back out. There you go. You can sleep right next to me. One thing I do remember from doing this on my lives is that if you do enough interactions, the less likely it is that it'll start burning the house down, as long as you can keep it social up and it's hunger up. And I don't fancy having to replace the furniture all the time. So let's try and get a good one. Okay, that should be enough. Let's sleep. Right, I feel like once we've gone to Magic Town and come back, we should be in a place for our dragon to hatch. So we'll have to see that soon. Actually, can I make any spells with the stuff that I've got? I don't have a lot. I think the short answer here is no. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll buy the stuff that I need for extra ingredients. My dragon hatched. Never mind about going to Magic Town. <laughs> it's here now. Little torch. And I think that is the best one, so it shouldn't burn down everything. You cute little fire hazard. Let's give you some food. I'm hoping that's enough to last us the entire video. Yeah, give him a little brush. Screw it. The longer we're out the house, the less likely it is that he'll burn everything down. So let's head back to Magic Town. Okay, it always annoyed me, but for nostalgia's sake, let's go see the snake charmer. Let me charm your snake, mister. Oh. 
Yeah. What are you talking about? That was so good. Whatever. Fuck yeah. I'll take my talents where they're appreciated. You. I want some free stuff. Let me talk to you. Those grey toadstools are so boring. If I touch one, it'll turn red. If you touch one, it'll turn blue. Let's race to see who can touch more toadstools, shall we? If you win, I'll give you a rare ingredient. I'm not good at this. Right, well, I can cheat straight away. I'll press that. And there's two there. Oh, I'll just press all of these. Fuck it. Why am I explaining it when I can see them all? Right, I could never do this as a kid. I refuse to lose. You can teleport, you fucking cheater. How am I meant to beat you for that? And you can walk through toadstools, apparently. <laughs> Right, I don't want to seem like a sore loser, but this does not seem fair. Is that all of them? I'm just going to cheat and pause the game. If you can cheat and fly around the place, I could cheat and stop time. Don't think I've won. But then again, I was too angry to count how many I actually did. We vendors take pride in our toadstool races, but you're pretty good. Here's your prize. Take the wizard's eyelashes and make yourself some powerful magic. I have never managed to do that before. I knew I could do it as a grown-up. <laughs> just couldn't do it as a kid. What about you? Do you have anything for me to do? Those great toasters are nope, absolutely not. I will be going somewhere else. You can run around all you want, pal, but I'm not playing. But it's time for a duel. Another thing I could never do, but we're going to try it anyway. Apothecary Todd, I'm about to fuck you up. Possibly. I don't know what I'm doing. So I know it's basically like rock, paper, scissors, but I still just, no matter how many times I do it, I don't get it. I can't remember it. <laughs> Let the duel begin. Click on the arena to select a spell. He's chosen the black one. I will choose red. I knew it. Why the fuck are you clapping for him? I'm winning. He's chosen blue. I'm going to go for white. <laughs> this is pure luck. <laughs> Finally, one person's clapping for me. Everything went right for me. That never happens. Usually every single player I do is so chaotic. Magnificent. Your mastery of magical motions and excellent elemental execution have made you one of history's great conjurers. Such a perfect victory couldn't have been achieved by mere guessing, right? <laughs> Still, don't forget what you've learned. Even the greatest mage can fall to a skilled challenger. Is there anything else I can do here that's different? I mean, I could go play mini golf, but do we really care? I don't like it in real life. I don't want to watch other people do it in fake life. I'm going to quickly go and get some magic coins off camera and then we'll go back home. No, <laughs> I was just trying to get some logic skill. Why are you not behaving? <laughs> Extinguish it quick. Whew. Okay, we're good. I hadn't saved it since I got back from Magic Town, so I don't know if I would have lost a lot of progress or just a skill point there. But we're okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Maybe it should go pay my dragon some attention. There we go. Logic 10. What spells can I make? Oh, come on. I've got all of this bar. Why won't you just lay it all out in one so I can see what I can make with this? Okay, that's Llama Spit and two golden thread. I'm going to make some thread and see if we can make that. No. <laughs> I just saw a little board bubble pop above his head, so I guess that's why he's burning everything down. So I need to go get him like a chew toy or something. No, no, it's a raccoon. We're okay. I'll just quickly call the fire department. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Where is the fire? <laughs> Sorry, it's pretty big. Uh, if you could deal with that quickly, I'll just be finishing up my shit. And then I'll go watch some TV. Thank you, Firefighter Freddy. I'll keep making golden thread. Right, I've got what I need. I've got this big fuck-off table here so that we can place charms there. So, add llama spit to golden thread. Was that right? Whatever, I'm doing it. I can't be asked to check again. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. You've discovered a new charm. Check your family spell book for details. Dish wish charm. Is that going to be cleaning up dishes? Because I don't eat. Got dirty dishes? Get dish wish and your dirty dishes will be wished away. What happens if you wish for your dishes to disappear when there aren't any dishes? Do you get another wish? That sounds like a challenge to me. Cast dish wish. <laughs> well, I mean, I saw it coming. Maybe the dragon can eat them. Oh god, they've gone everywhere. Don't you burn my... Actually, you can burn that. Oh no, okay, well... <laughs> I don't want to die though, so let me go inside. Fire department, it's me again. Um, I'm a terrible pet owner and I still forgot to give him anything fun to do, so yeah. <laughs> everything down, sorry. Well, it's time for me to go back to Magic Town. I've cheated our needs. Let's jump in and I'll try and get a dragon toy too. I'm going to say try, I just mean I'll try and remember. So we'll forget. 
Mara, I'm going to talk to you again, but this time, give me something good to do. I don't want to play the Toadstool game with you. I don't feel much like talking, but my friend Jade mentioned something about being in a really bad mood. Maybe you could go cheer them up. I'll give you a rare ingredient if you can. Oh, Jade, what's wrong? Ask. How are you? Your friend said you're not good, pal. Your friend really pities you. That's the compliment. I admire your ability to be so pitiful. I mean, yeah, I'll go sapphic straight away. Let me check you out. What do you think, Jed? Oh, okay. I did not think she was going to accept that. I thought she didn't look pleased at all. I'll growl at you too, because that's always a good way to get someone to like you. Oh, it was. Okay. <laughs> this is so easy. I flirted my way to friendship. I just want to give you a little kiss and then I can move on with my life. There we go. I got my kiss. She's in a good mood. Mara, I cheered up your pathetic friend. Give me some stuff. Thank you so much for your assistance. My friend seems to be doing much better now. Here's the clown confessi I said I'd hand over for your help. Todd, do you have anything for me? I'm actually really busy right now, but do you think you could deliver these dragon scales to a customer of mine named Gretchen? It would be much appreciated, and I'm assuming I can trust you not to keep them for yourself. You know what, I'll be good. I'll give them to Gretchen, and then I'll steal the next thing he gives me, because I'm going to try this again. Here, have this. I was going to nick it, but you can have it. Thanks, I really needed these, and those vendors are always too busy to deliver anything. But it looks to me like all they do is stand around all day. Thanks again. Gretchen, you clearly know nothing about running a business. Uh, how about you keep your condescending attitude to yourself? Hey, give me some clown confetti. Isn't that what I just got? There we go. My friend Jade mentioned something about being in a really bad mood. Jade, I just fucking cheered you up, pal. Everyone thinks you're pathetic now. It's not just one person, so I, even I know that this isn't worth my time. Oh, you already have a crush. Jade. Everything you do is upsetting to me. You are so lame. My friend Jed still looks a bit down. Jed, I am actually going to burn you alive. And this, what the hell is that? It's terrifying. <laughs> what the hell is even that? Jed, I know it'll cheer you up. Get here, love. Ah, shit. <laughs> As if I got rejected by Jed. That's so embarrassing. Right, I cheered her up. All she needed was the confidence to be her own woman. And if that meant pushing me to the side, then I've done my job. Thank you so much for your assistance. Wizard eyelashes. I had that before. I'm going to actually buy stuff from you. I can make that at home. Mum, can we get some golden thread from Domino's? No, we've got golden thread at home. Give me the pixie dust and some sands of time. That'll do. Oh, last thing I want to do is buy a dragon toy. I did remember, but I did try to go home before I chose to go elsewhere then. <laughs> dragon chew toy. Maybe that'll sort him out. Right, I've got what I need. I'm in a terrible mood. I did just piss myself, but I sped through it, so I'm not going to show you it. But you can tell from a full bladder bar and low hygiene bar that I, I did that. Time for a maid, and then I will start making a spell. Right, what can I make? I've got quite a lot of stuff now, but there's absolutely no way I'm going to remember all this. Um, <laughs> let's look up spells anywhere. Butter, toadstools, and pixie dust. I definitely have that, so I'm going to do that. No, I got you a chew toy. I just forgot to give you it. <laughs> Stop. Hi department, it's me again. Yeah, little prick did it again. And Chan, you've discovered a new spell. Check your family spell book for details. I do know this one already, to be fair. How many versions of it do I have? Three. Okay, first things first, I want to enchant my fridge. <laughs> it's very important I do this. Look at the quality of those animations. I have nothing in that fridge. That is embarrassing. Hold on a second. I hired a maid, but I don't need a maid. This is who I need. Get yourself out here, Bone Hilda. The placement of everything will be a lot better when I move to Magic Town. For now, it's going wherever. But Bone Hilda, I have a lot of shit for you to clean. There she is. There's our gal. And while you're doing that, I've got some things to enchant. You. Enchant. Same for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, stop casting the spell. You're going to burn alive. Move. Okay, well, I managed to make the pink flamingo into a thing, but I am going to set on fire. You need to move. I need you to go anywhere. Okay, you're just so relaxed. Fire department. Yeah, this time it wasn't the dragon. Uh, I can't tell you how it happened. All right, yeah, we'll have a quick chat first because we don't, clearly don't have any more pressing issues to deal with. I just bought that. Well, I'm glad you're happy about it. Okay, fire dealt with. I'm just going to clap at her for some reason. Am I just stuck here forever clapping? Because no matter how much I tried to cancel it, it's still clapping. It has been hours. Okay, I'm just going to quickly delete you from the face of the air. We're back. We're all right. Am I being flared with by a lawn decoration? I'm going to solidify you. You're creeping me out. See ya. I sneezed during that and it might have ruined the sound. So just to clarify, the sneeze is not part of the animation. Right, there must be so much I can make with the stuff that I've got. Let's have a look at something else. 
I do have a lot of wizard's eyelashes and clown confetti. So, oh, I've got honey. Right, let's do that. Wizard's eyelashes, clown confetti, and honey. The big question. You've discovered a new spell. Check your family spell book for details. I mean, I can kind of guess what it's about. In the end, life really comes down to one question. A conundrum, if you will. The big question. Can these two sims spend the rest of their lives together? Sometimes it seems as if the answer to this question is fated to be no. There are only so many boxes of chocolate and diamond rings that one sim can give to another, and only so many times a sim can handle rejection. So forget fate. Forget social expectations and let your magic pop the big question. But take note with magical questions. Questions, the bigger they are, the smaller they fall. What does that mean? I guess we'll find out. Jade, you're an absolute loser. But come round. Sure, I haven't got anything better to do. See you soon. <laughs> what absolutely huge boost to my ego. Thanks, Jed. Cast the big question. I have no idea if this is going to go well or not. And I've only got one chance at it too. So hopefully it does. It didn't. <laughs> She's magic too. Maybe I should have done it on someone who isn't. Okay, well, <laughs> the bigger they are, the smaller they fall. It made me small. It makes sense. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's to go and buy a house in Magic Town. So I'm going to earn as many coins as I can, and then we'll come back. Well, I've earned quite a lot of coins. It's not as many as I need yet, but I forgot about this. This is a puzzle that I have never been able to work out, and I've never Googled it. I don't know why, and I don't want to Google it. I want to see if I can work this out here and now for this video you and i imagine i'll be editing out quite a lot of this because i just don't get it so i know that there's nine gravestones here and you've got to choose one and it m picks up or puts down the gravestones that are next to it so i know the general premise of how to do this but i just can't work it out i've never given myself enough time to try and work it out and i still don't know if i want to <laughs> you can sleep when we've worked this out all right how are you not having fun this is so fun for both of us Nah, I'm not having fun. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going home. Fuck that puzzle. So I'm home. We have enough magic coins to move. I think it's time. I would be sad that it might mean we lose our dragon, but at the same time, he's been an absolute bastard during this. So <laughs> I'm not too worried. So here it is. And after all that, I didn't even need as many magic coins as I thought I did. I needed a thousand and I got way more than that. I think we'll decorate this house a little bit quickly, not too much, and then everything's sorted. So there we go. I did have to do a few edits off camera because the music's copyrighted, so I couldn't do it. But this is it from the outside. Inside, we've got the bedroom. I kind of wanted to go for like a castle vibe with this and a skeleton in a cage because what's more cozy to sleep next to than a dead man? Landing here, you're going to see this rug a lot because nothing else really went with what I was going for. This is the study, but our magic room that you can't really see, but you get the gist. And then downstairs, I didn't change that much. Kitchen there. There. living room here obviously sweet baby bun hilda right there and then a little tiny bathroom but i got a vardy into her witch clothes now that she's officially made it and i think we can leave it there that was like a nostalgia overload for me i had so much fun doing that the sims one will always be a bit janky but it does hold up to time so thanks for joining me on another one if you don't subscribe already please do and i'll catch you in the next one see you then